Last time we saw the boys, they were almost across Florida. Mountain Goat lost a shoe, found a sweet replacement, and got sunburned. And Rebel Yell, he was just coping. So, we we're trying to go 82 miles today to Pensacola. Pensacola. And uh, this will be our biggest day so far. So, so far. Mark's kind of like my backup singer. This is how we send it. This is how we send it. Right over there is Route 90, which isn't really our route anyway, but we took it because it'd be shorter and faster. And we found this here old abandoned brick road or something. Woo! Welcome to Alabama. Yeah, as you can see. I guess I gotta take the opportunity while we're here to give a shout out to Dixie with a big old roll tide. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! So um, here we are at the uh, beach water place, as Rebel Yell put it a yeah, second ago. Yeah, this is the ocean the area. Ocean. Yeah. So we get to take a ferry today, which is pretty cool. We're yeah. pretty psyched about that. Yeah. We were really thinking that it was going to be raining today, but it's not so far. I totally just jinxed yeah, it. Yeah, thanks for ruining that. Um, Mountain Goat, how much you liking this rain right now, bud? Rain. My saddle's going to get ruined. Ruined, I tell you. Sometimes it's just interesting to watch a mountain goat in its natural habitat and doing some twirly motion with its socks. So we just showed up here at Dauphin Island. We found this spot on warm showers. Uh, John and Jan, they're currently not here, but they still let cycle tourists stay, which is incredible. So. We can, you know, set up our tents and camp. They've got electricity, water. It's so generous of them to let people stay, so we are pretty excited about that. We're gonna get set up here and eat some food and get ready for our good push tomorrow to Biloxi, Mississippi. Going across the Gordon Pearson's Bridge, coming out of Dolphin Island, get back on the mainland, and this wind I feel like it's just going to suck the life out of us. So, Mango's getting away from me. I'm going to try and catch up. Look at this armadillo just rooting around. What an interesting creature. I hope it doesn't attack me. So, Mountain Goat doesn't understand what I'm doing, but clearly, I'm making an incredibly nutritious breakfast. Got some hot chocolate. A little bit of water here. It's doing some stuff. Not good. What you got? For now, I'll just eat my porridge. <laughs> Mississippi River floodplains. So what they have in place to try and relieve cities and towns from getting flooded out. What's going on here, old boy? Uh, got a little flat tire. You know what you're doing? I have no clue. How's that tire going? Oh, right, the tire. Yeah, I see you snacking away over there. I'm here just being cold. Oh, we got our new mascot here. I'm not sure what his name is. See you, buddy. Well, this day is doing a pretty good job trying to stick it to us. Second flat of the day. I had one at first, and probably the last one. Pretty unfortunate. It poured rain too. So we're, uh, plus we're going for like an almost 90 mile day. So all these little hiccups add up. So it's always fun. Flats in the rain are super fun. How fun? Uh, exactly. Oh my, what a day. I'm relieved to be here. We got a hotel in Oberlin, Louisiana for like 40 bucks. So it should be pretty good. That'd be great, actually. Uh, we got rained on for probably two thirds of the day. We're both soaking wet. We changed, or we had two tubes, one to replace, one to repair. And towards the end of the day, my right knee was bothering me. And there's dirt all over my face because my hands are still dirty from changing that tube. So a warm shower is gonna be good. I don't think we're gonna be expecting too much for 40 bucks, but that'd be better than setting up our tents.
Sometimes adventuring ain't all that fun. <laughs>